All right, how's it going, everyone? Uh, K-Mills here. Uh, today we're playing Bully. Uh, we're just gonna be playing today. Um, let me tell you what, this was an adventure to get running, and it's very loud. My goodness. All right, and it just starts. Yeah, so th <laughs> this, uh, this game was a bit of an adventure to get running correctly uh, for recording. Uh, and everything. Uh, I had to Mom, mess with borderless full phone? screen and stuff. What is wrong with you? Oh, I can't believe this. I guess we don't get the intro. I thought there was you an intro video. Hopkins boy. Where'd you come from? We've been expecting you. Welcome to Bullworth Academy. I <laughs> love this cutscene. <sighs> I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Very happy indeed. Anyway, I can't spend my life waiting around for naughty little boys. I've got a man to make happy. The headmaster is expecting you, Hopkins, in his study. Okay. His study is over there, boy. In boy. the main building. <laughs> Don't keep Dr. Crabblesnitch waiting. Crabblesnitch. He's a brilliant man. Brilliant. All right, so yeah, I thought there was an intro video. I hope that's not something that's broken. Uh, I'm not really sure. Um, so yeah, I was going to run a whole bunch of things with this game uh, to unlock the frame rate and stuff, but they were causing some weird instability um, that I wasn't totally stoked about. Um, I, I didn't want to run the risk of, uh, you know, that stuff messing up the game, so, uh, we're just gonna play it, you know, vanilla style. Uh, this is Scholarship Edition on PC, which was why it was a real pain to get running, <laughs> because early PC games were a little weird, um, but, yeah, we got this running, so, I mean, we'll see, maybe, maybe another time I'll, uh, try running mods on this, but I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to have even more difficulty than I already was having. I wanted to start recording this about an hour ago, and uh, there was so much fiddling that I, I deemed it not worth the time. So anyway, yeah, this is uh, Bully. Um, fun fact, I played this game as a, a wee lad before I even had Awareness of the Grand Th I mean, awareness of the Grand Theft Auto games, but you know I never played them. Uh, this was like my first Rockstar game, pretty much. Hello there, ma'am. There we go. Now we got some subtitle action, so I can not completely ah, drown yes. out the dialogue. So you must be Hopkins. Uh, His cutscenes uh -huh. are just legendary. What? Uh huh. What? I meant yes, sir. Very good. Now let me see. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, bad violent language. conduct, disrespecting oh, man. staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. This game yes, looks a lot I've better never than met I a boy it was like you. To. Never in all my life. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I don't know. Because it's my calling. It's what I do. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you, at making you into respectable members of our community here at the that. Academy. I've got a good feeling about you, boy, a feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You keep that nose clean, boy, or I shall clean it myself. Not my nose. Miss Danvers, are you back yet? Yes, Headmaster, and I got your tea. You are good to me, Miss Danvers. <laughs> no more than you deserve, Headmaster. Yuck. Take our new friend Hopkins here and show him around the school and get him properly attired. Certainly, Headmaster. Come along, boy. I haven't got all day. And boy, remember, you that will nose. have a clean nose. <laughs> the nose. So keep it clean, or we'll clean it for you. Oh. Yeah, um, this game doesn't look as scuffed as I thought it was going to, so here just in I terms of graphics. I remember this looking a little worse. Whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. I have the settings on high, so I don't Real know really scum. how much that affects stuff. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? 
We shall see, my friend. My friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. All right. Where's your uniform, young Hopkins? Run along now, child. So yeah, I mean, I I'd never played GTA before playing this. This was my first entry into like this kind of uh, game setting. And yeah, um, I had a blast with this game as a kid. I mean, I played the PS2 version. Um, the Steam version is markedly different. It has the extra stuff from the Scholarship Edition, which I believe was only PC and next-gen consoles. Well, next-gen of the time. Um, got it. Uh-oh. We gotta get into a fight. So yeah, this game had like a very deep combat. I I remember um, all 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 sorts of stuff that you could do, and a lot of the time you wouldn't really use most of it. Um, all all sorts of settings you could um, use to like you know extra extra moves and everything. Oh, here we go. We're gonna give him a wedgie or something, or a wet willy or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> get him. Um, you learn a lot of combat stuff in this game that is just very superficial. <laughs> You're dead, new kid. Dead. Uh oh. Hey, you! Break it up! That's enough of that. Break it up! Break it up! <laughs> Why are you not in your uniform, young man? Go change immediately. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, and here we get to meet the, uh, hey, the best the character. Kid. Yeah? What's it to you? He's an asshole. Friendly, aren't you? Give me a break, loser. Hey, relax, friend. You're all pent up. Go easy or they put you on medication. They did to me. Boy, you nearly sent me insane. That's fascinating. Now if you'll excuse me. I said me. relax, friend. Get off, man. Listen to me, tough guy. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country, and I'm offering to be your friend. Trust me. In a place like this, you're gonna need friends. So it's up to you. You gonna play nice or what? Yeah, sure. Good. So how about I show you around? Yeah, I'm I'm kind of floored by how okay these models look. I mean, the cutscene models I think are definitely you don't have a, bar in the door. Uh, a lot higher quality than the in-game characters, but I don't think by too much because your outfit and stuff reflects. So it's in-engine. They're just better models. You don't want to get in trouble. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, lads. Nice. Excuse me, lads. I need to get through here. Oh, man. Yeah, th this game has some really quality AI. There we go. School uniform. So, yeah, you have to have a school uniform on during school time or else uh, you get in trouble. I hey, think eventually you, you, you get to ignore that. Pete, but for Pete the Kowalski, beginning of the game, Jimmy you're stuck Hopkins, with it. And don't ask how I'm doing. I've been here five minutes, and already people want me dead. Even my parents didn't hate me this quickly. Well, welcome to Bullworth. It's a dump. Great. I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent, because I'm really bad. Give up the tough guy act, pal. Hey, man, what's your problem? Well, ADD primarily, but also <laughs> life. My parents, this school, Western civilization, but really, honestly, we live in a society, guys. Oh. I see you've met the dorm's mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Femboy, the girliest boy in school. Petey, <laughs> haven't you got some imaginary friends to A lot of the humor in this game alone, is probably Gary. aged poorly. <laughs> Look at you. Leave me alone, Gary. I'm really self-important now that I finally hit puberty. What's your problem? I'm just being nice to the new kid as he passes through Bullworth on his inevitable journey to prison. Look, I gotta unpack. Would you guys mind getting out of here? <laughs> oh, now look what you've done, Pete. Jimmy can't stand you already. Yeah, Pete, come on. <laughs> nice little <laughs> shuffle out of there. Uh, alright. Cool, so we we did the first cutscene. We win the game. Alright, now we have to go... Oh, whoopsie-daisy. That's fun aiming mode. 
Yep, all right. So, yeah, it's, you know, Rockstar game. You've got, like, an open world with missions to go to and fun distractions to distract you from doing the missions. Is more delicious. I need a plan. This game does actually open up quite a bit, especially in the PC version where there's just more stuff to do. But the beginning of the game is a bit slow. A lot of, a lot of hailing missions, a lot of cutscenes. Oh no! <laughs> that was that was really fast. All right, so that's gonna be something fun to be on the lookout for uh, with this game. I'm not running it in compatibility compatibility mode or anything. Um, I'm just running it with like borderless window I might have to I might have to turn that off that might be something that causes problems I don't know uh, we'll see if um we'll see if we experience that problem again all right well we're good now for now at least you know the big ape who almost put you in the hospital I didn't think we'd see a crash that quickly we can apologize. We gotta hit the apologize button. This is uh, really ahead of its time with pacifism in video games and um, you know diplomatic solutions to to conflicts. We can pay. We have we have money. I remember, yeah, you like save up for the the big scooter. That's the big thing of the game. The big money dump. No, not money. It was uh, <laughs> like carnival tickets. Oh jeez, I am Let's getting a real throwback from playing this. That'll teach him. All right. Yeah, I remember playing this game a really long time ago on PC and having problems with the lock picking on a keyboard and mouse. Well done. Because it just worked really strangely. Uh oh, we're gonna get spotted by. Uh, Metal Gear, Metal Gear Vision Cone over there. You just made a serious mistake. Gotta run. Oh, no, he's distracting them. Yeah, here we go. We learned how to hide in a garbage can. <laughs> this is so great. Uh-oh. There's the fuzz. All right, we're out of trouble. We were in trouble, and now we're out of trouble. Come on, psycho, this way. I just love the atmosphere of this game. It really does make me reminisce. I get like that cozy middle school feeling. Cause I mean, I would rent this game from like Hollywood Video and play the hell out of it. Man, there's that weird chick Eunice. Let's have some fun with her. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, my god. Go. See what oh no, I remember this part. <laughs> I'm not excited about this. Oh no, her chocolate. We gotta go get her chocolate. So yeah, I remember mashing A to run. That's like the rock star staple. There he is. Show him what you're made of, Jimmy. Uh, we can greet, and then we humiliate. What are you looking at, punk? so you want to scratch? There we go. Didn't even stand a chance. Yo, wow! Look at the um, the mirror. I'm I'm always amazed in video games by mirrors, like when they're actually real mirrors. It looks like it's only us though. All the kids in the hallway. Oh no, they are reflected. Wow! I <laughs> every time I play any video game that's not like brand new, I'm always just flabbergasted that there's real mirrors going on. Especially the fact that it's like all the NPCs, not just, you know, me. That's pretty cool. Thanks. Um, wanna make out? Not really. No. <laughs> the noises. Oh god. Yeah, this was like a mechanic. You'd get like a health boost from doing this. I remember this. What are those green lines in there? I don't know what that is. I hope that's not a glitch. Maybe I'm just gonna run away from it so I don't crash again. <laughs> it's 
a really, really funky slap and bass line. Feeding time at the zoo. Okay, here's the deal. Over there, we got the nerds. Of course, they're complete social outcasts. The nerds. They look pretty harmless. They're actually sneaky bastards. Their turf is so the th yeah, it, like they converted the whole rock star the formula they're to a school environment yeah, instead of like gang rep and completely brainless. Very you have uh, clicks in the school. It's now really cool. Over there are the greasers. They think they're tough. That's why I wish they'd or make another one of these games. Tough. Wouldn't advise messing with them. At least not yet. They hang by the auto shop. And last but not least, the jocks. Jocks. These guys rule the school. Definitely avoid them. Whatever, I'm not afraid of some dumb roid monkeys. You'll learn. Roid monkeys. Come on, let's go. You're here to learn, not to goof off. Get to class. Oh yeah, that's right. We have actual school in this game. It's it's a game about school, but you have to do actual school. Uh, this is what I should make a uh, mention about this game. I am probably not going to be hundred percenting this. Uh, there's a lot of collectibles. There's a lot of stuff with like getting A pluses on every class. I am making zero promises of uh, doing that because the classes are a bit. Um, some of them are rough, like the ones that are real, like are geography class. They're they're a bit All rough, right. and I'm not the smartest. Class. But this is just mo half the classes Take are just quick time events, so these are fine. I mean, I'm probably gonna mess these up, but today. you know, we'll see what happens. Keep up the good work. You're almost done. My heart is racing. Keep paying attention. I think chemistry is purely buttons and no weird things that you have to do like some classes require you to spin the stick and everything and those are a bit wonky i am running x360 ce to play this because i'm pretty sure this doesn't work with a xbox controller by default it's way too old to work with that um so yeah we got firecrackers that's pretty exciting um, what in the world is the triangle up here? Oh, it's a, that's right, you have like up and down floors. Oh hey, rubber band. Yeah, that is one of the collectibles that the game has. Um, which they unlock like v very optional items. Um, I'm trying to see if you can... Yeah, one of 75 rubber bands, and there's like a bunch of different collectibles that have some obscene number of how many of them there are. Uh, so let's go to the next mission. Oh, it's right here. Uh, the setup. Hold on, do we have two classes a day yet, or no? I'm not entirely sure. I guess we'll find out if you I'm gonna to have class in the middle of this or not. You comfortable here, my boy. I'm just trying to fit in. By fighting? By making a nuisance of yourself? That is not the Bullworth way, boy. Yeah, you could have fooled me. What? I said what? you could have fooled me. This place is full of bullies and maniacs. Nonsense. That's just school spirit. Hijinks. Why, in my day, we felt nothing of castrating the new boys. I want you to stop this nonsense, Hopkins. I want you to behave yourself. You might learn something. Fine. Can I go now, sir? On your way. Sir. Hey, I saw you sucking up to Crabble Snitch. What? Shut up. Screw you, no, kid. No, he's got a slingshot. This is what we do to teachers' pets around here. <sighs> you Ouchie. Ow. Ouchie. <laughs> come here, you little... Yeah, come and get me. Wow. Two seconds after being told to not... Okay, we gotta, we gotta run. <laughs> what you gonna do? Yeah, B is jump. That's something that kind of messed me up as a kid. I was so used to all platformers have like the same control setup. I know there's a way to adjust the camera, but I just don't remember what it is. Uh, Cause I kind of like it to, oh, that's crouch, okay. Whoa, we just did a bull charge. I totally forgot you can do that. Oh, here, there you go. <laughs> Into the garbage you go. Oh, we got a mash. Yeah. Wow, 
Where? Where? This way. Uh, yeah, I thought you could adjust the camera, but... Oh, you can- you have a rear view, that's- that's always fun. So yeah, enemies in the beginning of the game really don't put up much of a fight, but the combat does get, you know, at least marginally demanding later on, I'm pretty sure. But right now, yeah, it's a bit of a cakewalk. The beginning of the game has kind of strange pacing. Oh, we got two enemies to work on now. Ouch. Uh-oh. Are we gonna have truancy? Oh no. I gotta finish up. I don't want to miss a class. I just jumped. I'm a real genius. Uh, pick up weapon? What weapon? Oh yeah, garbage can. There we go. Captain America up in this. Yeah. I keep hitting B to pick stuff up. That is going to be a real problem. There we go. Whoa! Could have died. He could have actually died there. If that stuff fell on him, he would have been dead. I would have been a murderer. Alright, so we got the, uh, slingshot, and we also made the bullies, uh, upset, uh, by doing that. So, you know, it's like the street cred, uh, mechanic from GTA. But instead of street cred, it's bully and prop, prop, jock and prep, uh, cred. So we are truant now. And while you're truant, you have like a minimum trouble meter, so uh, it probably would be smarter just to get caught and get sent right to class, but uh, I don't want to get in trouble, because I'm pretty sure you get your stuff confiscated when that happens. Yeah, English, here we go. So this is one of the actual classes where uh, you have class. to use your brain. The curriculum demands that you do these vocabulary uh, assignments. I, I won't I won't cheat right away, but I might I might pull up a list in the future if this gets really awful. Uh, this is like Scrabble, basically. Um. Uh. Yeah. That's right. So I I you know I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna come out right now and say it. That I I'm gonna be bad at this. Good show. Try again, James. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid that's not English. Good one. Man, I'm already out of ideas for words. How is this possible? Low. I don't think that's in the dictionary. <laughs> Oh man, how how can I? Oh, here we go, mellow. Keep it up. Well, yeah, I gotta um, I gotta get in the one. get get in the game here. I'm not even passing yet. Uh, Lou, Lou, Lou. That has to be some sort of slang. Yes. Wool, wool. Try again, James. Mel. Try again, nope. James. Lem. Try again, James. Shit, I'm actually going to not pass this. Um. Good one. There we go. Okay, well at least we're gonna pass. But man, I. Try again, James. I can't even think of more words. How? Emo. Try again, James. Nope. Uh, uh Elm. There we go, there's one. Uh there's how are there still five words left? I refuse to believe that. 
I didn't think I would be exposed as this stupid this quick uh, with, <laughs> with the English class. Um, lo loom? Try again, James. Me? me? Uh, I don't know. Owl. There's uh, a. <clears throat> there's one. one. Omel. Try again, James. Um. Try again, James. Meow. A That's a word. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of meow. Um. <clears throat> well, we have an excellent score, but we're not passing. I mean. We're passing. It's, it's, if you if you complete the class quicker, uh, you get like a bit of a you, you get out early, basically. Well done, James. Well done indeed. I don't think anything else happens. I'm pretty sure you just get out early. So that's not, you know, hugely a big deal. Oh no, I'm gonna I'm gonna become apology. Oh please. I do a so YouTube so apology. <laughs> oh please. That's about as g genuine as a YouTube apology is. I, rule. I don't think I ever used apologizing. Why would I ever do that, you know? Um that's just silly. So blue lockers, yeah, blue lockers you can hide. I, there are some items you can only get from lockers. And I am gonna... There we go. I'm a pretty... I'm a pretty good uh, lock picker there. I'm quite the ace at that. Um, one of the few things I'm great at is uh, doing the lock picking minigame. I like it a lot more than other games, lock picking minigames. A lot of the time, they're very painful. This one's, you know, pretty... And actually enjoyable to do and not too ridiculous all right so let's do uh, one more mission for today hold on there's a rubber band that's for me a whole two of 75 we're making great strides in the rubber band uh, industry here hold on there's a back alley here I'm willing to bet there's some other something back here. Maybe. Maybe not. I think... Oh, you know what? I think there might be another collectible back there, but it doesn't appear yet. Um, there is a different collectible that doesn't appear until a certain point. Which, I hate that. Uh, that's infuriating to, like, you know, think you know where everything is, and then, you, you know, you think you've explored the game, but then you actually haven't. Uh... Alright. I thought there was something else in here, but there's not. So let's save and do one more mission. I'm going to be saving a lot, just because, God forbid, uh, we have that problem again. Oh yeah, here we go. We can use the chemistry set. And get firecrackers! Okay, that's actually so some pretty talented idea, right? chemistry yeah. there. Okay, alright, sure. I'll do it. <sighs> Hey man, what's going on? Not much. I was just telling Petey here about my idea to take over the school. I mean, my plan for us to take over the school. What plan? Don't worry, Jimmy. It's just a little something I came up with. It's sink or swim, my friend. And my if you friend. Swimming, you gotta let the losers drown. Why don't you guys leave the thinking up to me? What? 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 What the? Can't you say anything else? <laughs> Psycho Mantis. You know what, Petey? You were right. Jimmy is pretty dumb. Uh -oh. What'd you say about me? <laughs> oh, nothing. No, no, no. All I said was that you had to be pretty dumb to get expelled from so many schools. That's all. <laughs> Relax, James. All he said was that you must be dumb. Or maybe you're all messed up because you came from a broken home. What'd you say about me, dwarf? Come on, dude. Chill. No, 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 no. Gary's taking everything out of context, man. Oh, yeah, context. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't lie, Petey. Don't you lie, because you know what happens to lies. Gary absolutely no, no, steals the show lying. in this game. In the balls. <laughs> oh, the balls, dude! <laughs> no. Come on, Jimmy. Let's go see how good you are with this new slingshot I heard you had. Don't worry, friend. Nothing escapes my notice. I hear everything. 
You and me, we can do things. We're gonna do things, guys. Look how crisp that text is on that picture, but like everything else is really, really blurry. Hey, Hopkins, you psychotic gimp! This way. Yeah, much of the game is spent uh, following Gary around, and then when Gary gets into some kind of shenanigan, uh, you punch stuff. As that is my primary memory of playing this game as a kid was just, uh, Gary's in trouble again. Gotta punch some dudes and eat some foods. There's a whole, there's a backyard brawl going on over here. I want to see your long range skill. see if you can get him with your We're shooting windows. I did it. I shot all the windows. Where are we going? Thank goodness for the minimap. I could tell by, you know, like the hour mark, I'm gonna, my, my thumb is gonna be tired of mashing A. Luckily, you don't have to for most stuff. I mean, NPCs just run. They don't sprint, so you don't really have to hammer the button too much because you'll just end up getting ahead of them. But for getting around the overworld, absolutely, you want to uh, be putting the pedal to the metal. Hey, football players, don't mind me. I'm going to go hide in this uh, tree here. Hello. No, I want to grab you. I want to climb up this tree. Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. All right. We're good. <laughs> we're good. <clears throat> he, 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 is, he can't get us up here. All right. Now we get to shoot these dudes. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we can actually aim. Which lets you do a charge-up shot. I don't know how much leading is really required here. I'm pretty sure as long as it's on the... Yeah, it, okay, so it, like, homes in when you shoot them. Which, you know, thank God for that. We passed. We now have more nerd respect, which you always nice work, Jimmy. is always a good thing. Okay, down we go. And look at that, it's like nothing happened. No one uh, no one even knew it was us, because we were up in a tree. <laughs> the, the perfect crime. I don't think you have slingshot ammo, uh, which is kind of nice. I'm, you know, very used to, uh, you know, having slingshot ammo and stuff like Ocarina of Time. Whoopsie daisy. Alright, so now it's becoming late. Uh, we have a bedtime of 7, but I mean, who... 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 No, it's not. That's when you can sleep. Yeah, but why would you ever do that? Oh yeah, this is when I should be mashing it up. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there is a night time, but eventually you just straight up pass out at, like, 11 or something. So you don't want to be out and about too late, because you might, you know, just keel over and lose consciousness. Your, your, your young, your young f body is just so tired, you can't stay awake. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, I think that's a good stopping point. I didn't really want to have to edit this, but I'm going to have to for that crash, so... Uh, I guess we'll have to pick it up next time.